Welcome to Orania, South Africa's only pure white town founded by Afrikaners for Afrikaners, the descendants of Dutch settlers who used to run the country under apartheid. Orania was built in the Northern Cape in 1991, just after the release of Nelson Mandela. While outsiders view it as a racist concept, people here say they just want the freedom to live according to their own cultural norms. We would like to redefine our structures in such a way that we decide on our own affairs and in that sense experience ourselves as being free whilst at the same moment uh, be in peace with everybody around us. 1,000 people live in Orania and they try to be as self-sufficient as possible. They have their own money as well as their own flag. Orania is built on privately owned land, which belongs to the Flightis Kroll Andela Block Company. Homeowners can become shareholders of the company, as well as members of the council, to decide on how their town should be run. We all, as directors, come in. We are uh, owners of land in Orania, and we are elected on a yearly basis, and then we conduct the same uh, functions as any municipality. Orania's population is growing at 9% a year. It attracts Afrikaners who feel left out in the new South Africa and who are scared of the country's high crime rates. Kobus Yonk arrived a year ago with his family after passing an interview in front of a committee of residents. He's happy to run his own farm here, but happier still that he doesn't have to worry about crime. You know, we don't lock our cars at night here. Yeah? We don't lock our house. If you look at our front door there, the key is in the front door. So we, you open it and you walk in whenever you want to do it. Orania is protected by South Africa's constitution, which guarantees the right of self-determination. But residents here are thinking big, their next goal, the creation of an Africana republic.